This is a 2022 Ford Explorer with the 10 speed automatic transmission, 10R80. Typical issue here, it has engagement concerns with the transmission. Customer says there is a delay in reverse after shifting from drive. So drive to reverse. So right now it's in drive. See, see the D lit up on the screen. Now I'm gonna go to reverse and let off the gas. And there, I felt it engage, okay. So I did verify the concern. Ford does have a service bulletin on some of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through that with you. First thing I did here is just make sure there's no transmission fault codes and there's not. The bulletin applies to 2020 through 2023 Explorers and with the 10R60 transmission, that is the 10 speed. Once again, it has me check for any codes which would uh, point towards a specific clutch pack to investigate, but there's no codes. At this point, 2020 and 2021 Explorers, you can try reprogramming the same strategy back into the transmission to kind of reset things a little bit. From my experience, that doesn't really do the job, except on Mustangs for whatever reason, <laughs> the four-cylinder Mustangs. Anyway, I am going to do everything it says. The first step is to reprogram the PCM and TCM, but uh, more than likely, it's going to come down to uh, this right here, sticking valves, main control valve body. And in this particular situation, you do have the option to do an accelerated main control break-in routine. But before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to go ahead and reprogram the PCM, the top thing there. Just update it. Okay, there we go. Oh no, it's going to blow up! No, I'm just kidding. Alright, programming's done. I'm clearing out all the codes that were set during programming. Go ahead and do the strategy download. Um, even though it's probably not going to fix it, I want to go ahead and just... Do it by the book and show you, obviously. And uh, basically what this is, is uh, this is where you go if you replace the valve body and you need to update the strategy. And um, Ford has us just put the same strategy back in to sort of uh, redo the programming there. And uh, um, come on, <laughs> there we go. And just kind of put the calibration back in in case there's an issue there. Okay, that's successful. Okay, now for the meat and biscuits here. Let's see, click download, transmission, accelerated, main control, brake in. When you go from reverse to drive on this car, with and not just going straight into reverse, but from drive to reverse, if I mess that up, um, the uh, e-clutch is released when drive is released and does not reapply in reverse. So that's the clutch pack I'm suspecting has an issue. However, I'm probably going to go ahead and just do all the clutches that are applied in reverse and drive. Basically what I'm saying here is it allows you to select one of the clutch packs in the transmission at a time. And what it's going to do is cycle the clutch, uh, the whole clutch pack, so the solenoid, the valves, and all that get actuated. It's going to apply and release a whole bunch of times like that for five minutes straight. And what that does is deburr valves, work any deposits out that might be causing the clutch pack to stick. So I'm going to cycle the E clutch, the B clutch. A, F, and D. What I may do is start with E and just see how it feels. Select E. Transmission brake in. Select. Key on engine off. Okay, continue. Key on engine running. All right, continue. Sorry for the flickery screen. It's just how the camera's picking up the... Uh, laptop screen but at this moment in time it's starting to cycle the clutch make sure you're on a frame engaging lift just in case the uh, car wants to take off on you i also have the parking brake on just in case so at this time i'm just going to sit here until this is done you probably can't hear but the uh i can hear the clutches cycle in the transmission kind of hear that there and once it is complete here, I am going to reset the transmission learned adaptive tables. You hear, you hear the clutches cycling. Click, click, click. <laughs> um, after a minute, it does start doing it a lot faster. So, And if I wasn't clear um, about putting it on a lift, you want to get the wheels off the ground just in case, for whatever reason, the uh, wheels start moving because the transmission's cycling under the engine power. Definitely don't do what I do. <laughs> you can hear the clutches cycling a little bit better now. If you're wondering how much this costs, if you're paying out of pocket, I, I can't imagine them charging more than two or three hundred dollars. If it were me, I would charge probably an hour to do this. So that's one fifty. 
Can you do it yourself? I'm not sure. If anybody has Foreskin and an Explorer, when you hook it up, if you uh, see the accelerated break-in routine, just put it in the comments below and you'll let everybody know that way, and it's much appreciated. Okay, I finished the routine on the uh, cycling the E-clutch. I've reset the PCM Keep Alive memory, which includes the adaptive tables for the transmission. And let's see if it's fixed. All right, the concern was a delayed engagement into reverse when you're shifting from drive to reverse. So let's shift into drive. Okay. And reverse. Let off the gas. And still delayed. Very delayed. Holy cow. Just kidding. <laughs> I had the uh, parking brake on there. Okay, drive. Reverse. Okay. Immediate engagement. Drive. Let's move forward here. Reverse. Okay. Yeah, it's fixed. One more time. I can't believe I left that parking brake on. <laughs> oh, okay. Immediate engagement. Guys, that's all there is to it. I like this main control break-in procedure. It does seem to help a lot. And it's a lot less labor intensive than pulling the valve body out and trying to scrub all the valves and stuff like that. You can just deburr them this way. See, so it's not the end of the world if you've got firmer delayed shifts on your uh, Explorer here. And this actually does apply to all the 10 speeds out there. Um, there are some of them that there is no break-in routine for it. But uh, if you have that TSB for it, which um, explains in one of the steps to do that routine, then you know that that's an option for you. Anyway, I uh, sure do hope this helps somebody out. Uh, that's, that's all there is to it. It's not too bad of a routine there. Um, if it helps you out, please leave a like. It helps the algorithm and all that. So have yourselves a great day. Happy driving. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. I also have a Facebook and Discord group to ask your questions in. All right, once again, have a good day. Good luck to you.